Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today is actually my birthday. Uh, a grand old age of 32 today. Uh, it's just me and the puppy this morning. Uh, I'm having a cup of tea in my favourite Disney mug, and I'm having some breakfast. We're gonna have some playtime and go for a walk. And then I'm going to go and see my mum for a few hours. And then later on, I think we're going to get a takeaway and watch a film. Uh, Richard's at work today, sadly. So it's just me and the puppy through the day, but that's fine. I have already opened my card from Richard, my first year getting a wife card. Um, but I'm saving my presents to open later when he gets in from work. But I'll show you the card. So this is the card that he got me. How gorgeous is this? I love it so much. Can't believe I finally have a card with wife on it. I am very excited to get to open my presents later. Um, can't wait to see what I've got. Uh, today I am wearing a blue sort of summery dress. The weather is absolutely gorgeous today. Uh, for once it is super sunny on my birthday. Normally even though it's in June the weather isn't the best. Um, so I'm really happy that today the weather is lovely. So I've got a dress on for a change today. This is actually from... In the style, um, it's Charles Greedy's collection. I will link it down below if it's still available. It's so, so comfy and I absolutely love this little daisy print. Um, but yeah, that's my plans for the day. Uh, not the most exciting of birthdays, but I'm going to take you along for the day. Um, and I'm happy with what I'm doing, so that's all that matters. And then on Saturday, we are actually going for a sort of birthday date night. We've got a meal booked. So I'll maybe take you along for that, I don't know, or I might just film literally today. We'll see what happens. Currently, I am spending my morning with some Tim Tracker on the TV and I'm reading some more of this book that I'm currently reading. I am absolutely loving this book. It's not something I would normally pick up to read, um, but it was on the buy one get one half price in Waterstones and I am absolutely hooked. I've only been reading it for a couple of days and I am already like halfway through really really enjoying it so would definitely recommend it's sort of a as it says end of the world type book Um, the two main characters wake up one day and they're the only people left in the world and uh, so we'll see where that goes but I am really really enjoying it we've just had some more cards come through the door I'm assuming they're birthday cards they might not be but I think it's safe to say they probably are so I'm going to open these so I was so focused on the fact that obviously I will be getting a wife card this birthday. I didn't think about the fact that I'll also get other new cards. So this year I get daughter-in-law, sister-in-law, and in this one, granddaughter-in-law. I didn't even think about the fact that I will be getting those. So that is a lovely little birthday surprise. So it's a few hours later now. I've literally spent all morning reading that book. And I finished it. Uh, that's what I tend to do when I pick up a book that I like. I literally can't put it down and then I finished it in like two days. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Would definitely recommend it. I won't spoil anything. Um, but yeah, really, really good book. Especially if you're into the sort of strange, mystical, that kind of thing. Magical realism, I think it's called. Um, yeah, would definitely recommend. But we are now out on our walk. Um, lovely weather today there is a bit of wind so i'm slightly regretting the dress especially because when i've got one hand on the lead and one hand on the camera i can't exactly keep control of it but it is lovely and sunny and um, so we're just out for about maybe 20 minutes um, and then i'm going to go to my mum soon i do need to go to the post office first and um, i've had some stuff on like ebay and been eating that and um, just to make a little bit of money for the honeymoon clear out some drawers because our wardrobes are all far too full and um, but yeah like six things have sold in the last like 24 hours it went a bit crazy so i need to take them to the post office and then i'm going to go to my mum's and have some food 
but yeah, I've had a really nice relaxed birthday so far. Um, I much prefer this than sort of doing loads and having loads of things booked. I like just a nice easy day, a day off work, which is nice. Uh, and yeah, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the time with the puppy. So I'll show you some of our walk. I'll put some little clips in, um, and then I'll see you later when I'm going to my mum's. in the middle of town plenty of time to go to the post office and then I'm going to jump on the bus to my mum's I think we might be having chip shop for dinner so I am very much looking forward to that so my mum's meeting me at the shops which will be at any minute now um, this is the first time I've filmed on a bus luckily there's nobody else here um, or I probably wouldn't be doing it um, but yeah my mum's meeting me at the shops and we're going to go to the chip shop um, yes I'm having the chip shop and the takeaway in the same day it's my birthday, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'll be there any minute now. Um, I'll show you a little bit more of the journey. And then, yeah, time for dinner. they've still got some of the jubilee bunting out which is nice and i think i actually spy my mum at the shops now so i'm gonna head over there you'll have seen I didn't film too much at my mum's and um, I have shown you a little bit of the presents that I got from her and a little bit of the cat as well uh, but I'm back home now with the dog Richard's on his way home from work uh, and then I get to open my presents off him and then I think we're going to take the dog for another walk while it's still gorgeous outside and then yeah on with the rest of the night so I'll probably show you some bits and pieces of tonight uh, I'm not sure if I'll actually be back on camera but I'll definitely film some bits here and there um, and then I'll probably pick back up with you again on Saturday when we go for my birthday meal. Now that I have opened all of my presents, I have been well and truly spoiled. Uh, now that I've opened all of my presents and the dog's had his walk, I thought I would actually show you what I've got for my birthday. So I'm going to start with what I got from my mum. Uh, I know I've already sort of showed you like a quick overview of that in a clip before, but I'll probably show you everything I got off her. So we'll start there. So my mum got me these gorgeous Disney pyjamas. They have long pants with sort of like a cuff to the bottom. Honestly, if you could feel this fabric, this is the softest fabric I have ever felt for a pair of pyjamas. It's got this nice summery print. Mini is all over the bottoms as well. And you've got your flowers and your fruit. I love the colours on these. 
Um, I just think they're so nice for sort of summer weather, getting you in that summer mood. Uh, these were from Sainsbury's, you can see on the two clothing hanger there. Uh, I'm going to try and save these to take on honeymoon because I like having a fresh pair of pyjamas for a holiday. Whether I'll be able to wait that long to wear them, I don't know, but I'm going to try. She got me this new makeup bag. Uh, again, Disney, you can see the theme. Uh, Snow White for this one, and I have needed a new makeup bag for a while. I don't think I've had a new one in years, and mine is literally fallen to pieces. And this will also give me the chance to properly sort out my makeup as well, because that is something that does really need done. Uh, you can't tell on camera, but this fabric is sort of... Not waterproof, but it feels like it would be like easy to clean. It feels that like kind of like wipe clean stuff. Sorry if you can hear the dog in the background. He's barking at something outside the window. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this. And it is the perfect size for all of my like everyday makeup. Uh, next up, we have quite a few sweets. She knows that I love sweets. Uh, so we've got a big pack of wine gums. We have some Maltesers. A big bar of Galaxy and a box of After Eights. I absolutely love an After Eight. Definitely not just a Christmas chocolate. Absolutely love them. Always a good present for me. In preparation for our honeymoon, she's got me this Top 10 LA Guidebook. Uh, this actually was a new edition. It was only out, I think, a couple of months ago. Um, and it's got a lot of the places in that we're really wanting to see or go to. So I'm going to love reading through this and planning out our trip a little bit more. And it's also quite a handy size that I could take it with us in my little backpack as well. So very happy with that. This is something that I've been wanting for a while. The Only Fools and Horses box set. Uh, all of the series and the Christmas specials. I have wanted this for such a long time. Every time it's been like Christmas or birthday... And I've had some money. I've been saying I'm going to buy it. And I never have. So I am so, so pleased with this. I don't know how anyone can not like Only Fills and Horses. It is just an absolute classic. And I honestly don't know if I've ever watched like all of them all the way through. So like from series one right through to the end. So I'm going to get started on these soon. And I can't wait to watch them all. Finally, well, I say finally. She did also give me some money as well. But you know what money looks like. I don't need to film that. Uh, my main present really was this gorgeous Katie Loxton handbag. So it does have a short strap on at the minute, but it does have a long strap with it as well. My new initials embroidered on there, which I love. And of course, the Katie Loxton gold plaque on the bottom. This is like the perfect size for sort of a little day-to-day -day handbag. Can fit your purse in, can fit my diary in, glasses case. All the little bits and pieces that you need day to day. But I love that it's so versatile. So like I can put the long crossbody strap on for day to day. And then I can use this little strap if we go for a meal or just to the cinema or something. I absolutely love this. I am loving everything Katie Loxton at the minute. So I will definitely link this in the description if anyone wants to check it out for themselves. And now I'll show you what I got off sort of the in-laws side of the family. Uh, so my mother and father-in-law, um, they got me vouchers for the Washington Central, which is a nearby hotel, if you're not from around here, that we actually really enjoy going to for meals. And um, that's normally where we go to for like our date night meals. Um, so we're definitely going to treat ourselves to a couple of date nights with those. And then off my, well, one of my brother-in-laws and his girlfriend, um, I got some money and I got some money off my gran-in-law, is that a word? Gran-in-law? Off my husband's gran. Um, she gave me money as well, which is so kind. Uh, and then I'll show you what I got now off my other brother-in-law and his fiance. I got this big dairy box, plenty in there. Absolutely love a dairy box. I think it's the kind that's like just fancy enough, but not too fancy because the ones that are too fancy have loads in that I don't like. So really pleased with them. And then they also got me this very heavy and big Yankee candle. Anyone who knows me knows that I love a candle, especially Yankee candles. I just think the scent lasts longer and it smells stronger. This one, as you can see, is pick and mix. The pink will match very nicely with our living room decor. And I absolutely love the smell of it. If you get chance to go and have a sniff of this in the shops, it is absolutely lovely, nice and sweet. Not too overpowering. Definitely a firm favourite. The dog. Yes, we are those people who buy each other presents off the dog. 
I got this little wooden plaque. Happiness starts with a wet nose and ends with a tail. Very true in this house. The dog definitely brings the happiness. I love this so much. I just need to decide where I'm going to hang it. And then I also got this mug, which if you've seen my Instagram stories, you'll know I love a good cup of tea in the morning. There's probably dog hair in here. Very, very appropriate in this house. Literally everything gets covered in dog hair. You'll find dog hair where you wouldn't expect to. It's just literally all over. You can hoover and then the next day it's covered again. It's And especially because it's light hair, it's obvious on pretty much everything. So this is definitely an appropriate mug for this house. And it is also a very good size for my morning cup of tea. And last but definitely not least, off my husband, I got this little Katie Loxton purse. Uh, I've been wanting a new purse that's this sort of size. You've got pockets on the front and the same on the back to be able to put a couple of cards in. And then you've got the zip compartment on the top there because I never really carry much cash anymore. So I don't need a huge purse. I literally just need enough for like my bank card, my ID, and then like maybe a little space for coins. Again, this has got my initials on there, which I love. And of course it's got the Katie Loxton on the back. I love the color of this. It's sort of like a deep tan. And it definitely matches very well with the handbag that my mum got me. And then he also got me a Joma jewellery bracelet, if the camera will focus. Uh, this is going to be hard to show you as it's in this gorgeous little presentation card. So when you first open it, you've got one of our wedding photos to Louise, happy birthday. Then on the next fold out... You've got the actual bracelet itself, which I absolutely love. This one's called Promise. And it's got a little heart on the infinity symbol there. And then, of course, who it's from. And then on the back, another one of our gorgeous wedding photos. I absolutely love the presentation of this. I do have one Joma bracelet already that my mum got me the day of the wedding. Um, that was a bride one, and I wear that pretty much every day. So I can't wait to add this one to my collection. And I just love that our wedding photos are included on there as well. Really, really love that one. And then finally, the sort of larger of the presents is this Disney Traditions Lilo and Stitch ornament. I am so in love with this. I love that it's got Ohana on the bottom there. I love that Stitch has all of his arms and legs out. As you can probably tell by now, we are big Disney fans. And of course, with our dog being called Stitch, we are obviously big fans of Stitch. Um, and we do collect the Disney Traditions ornaments. I've actually never seen this one before. So I just think this is so adorable. I can't wait to add this to our collection. He definitely knows me well with the presents that he's got me. Um, yeah, so, so pleased with all of them. And I just thought I would quickly show you all of the lovely cards that I've got for my birthday. I have been... Very lucky to get so many nice cards and they do continue up onto here as well. So, so nice of people. I love a nice card. So yeah, that is all of my presents. I have been well and truly spoiled. I am so, so grateful for them all, for everything that I've got and for all of the cards as well. Um, but our takeaway will be here any minute and I'm going to get into my comfy clothes, as comfy as this dress is. I want to be in like PJs or loungewear or something for the takeaway. Uh, so I'm going to get changed and just enjoy the rest of the night with the takeaway and the telly. Uh, but I will pick this video back up on Saturday when we go for my birthday meal. Um, so I'll do like an outfit of the day and show you some of our meal and all that kind of thing. So I'll see you on Saturday. So I am a truly terrible vlogger apparently because I completely forgot to film anything last night until we actually got to the restaurant for the meal so I didn't film my outfit or anything like that um so I've put this photo in here just to show you what I was wearing the shoes are probably about five year old they're from new look absolutely love new look for shoes they're just absolute classics the bag is my Katie Loxton bag that I got for my birthday it uh, looks great with just a short little handle for dressing it up for nights like this and then the dress is a really recent purchase I got from H 
H&M with the intention of taking it on honeymoon but I thought it was just the perfect little dress for something like last night when it's nice and sunny, lovely summer evenings and it's just nice and comfy and flowy to go for a meal. Uh, I absolutely love it and I think it's a really perfect summer print so I will link that down below because as I say I did get it really recently and I think it was only about £10 as well. Uh, so again apologies I didn't actually film my outfit but there's plenty of photos over on my Instagram as well so you can go and check them out there. So we started off with some drinks in the bar area. Richard had a pint of Peretti and I of course had a pink gin and lemonade. That is like my usual go-to drink whenever we go for a meal. And then for our starters, we both went for the vegetable soup. This is honestly the nicest vegetable soup that I have ever eaten. We get this every time we go here. It is so, so delicious. And it always comes with a really nice crusty roll that is so soft on the inside. It is perfect for having with soup. Would definitely recommend. Uh, for our main, uh, Richard got the chicken and bacon stack with cheese and some chips. He said this was really, really nice. I've never tried it myself, but it does look absolutely delicious. And then I had the scampi. You get an absolutely massive portion and the chips are so, so nice. Perfectly crispy on the outside and nice and soft and fluffy on the inside. I would definitely recommend either of these options. And we also got a side of garlic bread with mozzarella, which again was delicious. For dessert, we both just went for ice cream. Richard got the cappuccino with vanilla and I just went for plain vanilla. Perfect end to the meal. So as well as forgetting to film before we left last night, I also apparently forgot to film when we got back so I didn't end the video or anything. Uh, I had a brilliant birthday in general. My actual birthday was perfect and I really, really enjoyed our meal out last night. Um, the food was delicious, it always is. It's just sort of generally good quality there. It's always consistently good. We always enjoy it. We've pretty much always had good service. Last night the service was brilliant. Um, yeah, it's just so, so nice. And it's not overly expensive either, especially considering the quality of the food. But yeah, I had a brilliant time. Um, coincidentally, one of Richard's friends that he works with was actually in the restaurant at the same time as us. And him and his husband sent over a little bottle of Prosecco for each of us, which was an extra sort of little birthday treat that I wasn't expecting. So that was lovely of them. I did put a little clip of that in the video that you'll have just seen. Um, so yeah, that was a lovely little extra treat. And we did stay and have a drink with them after we'd finished our food as well before they had to leave. Um, but yeah, really, really good night last night. Absolutely loved it. I'm so glad we've got more vouchers for there so we can keep having date nights. Um, but I just thought I would come on and actually end the video. Uh, I apologise that I kept forgetting to film. I think I must just be out of practice. Um, it's been mainly sit-down videos before the wedding. So it is a bit strange getting used to sort of filming when I'm out and about again. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed my birthday. I will link anything that I think you might be interested in in the description down below. But if I do miss anything, please just let me know in the comments or come and follow me on Instagram and ask me about it over there. Um, please subscribe if you're not already. It does mean the world to me. And if you did enjoy this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up because uh, that just means it will probably get seen by more people. And I will see you next time uh, for another wedding video. I think I'm going to start showing you some of the DIYs I did for our wedding. And I am still trying to get the wedding Q&A up. It seems to be a problem with the way it's exporting. The, one of the clips works fine when I play the clip. It works fine in my like editing program, but then when it exports, it just sticks. So I am still trying and that will probably just go up as like a bonus video midweek at some point, but there will be 
another video next weekend uh, going through some of the wedding DIYs. So I will see you then. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you really soon. Bye.